welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video guys i am gonna teach you how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number and vice versa so before you watch this video guys make sure to give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure to tap the notification bell button below so that you'll be notified for more videos so let's get started so before we start guys let's learn first what is the difference of a mixed number and an improper fraction so a mixed number guys is made up of a whole number and a fraction for examples are five and three four two and one third and many more Meanwhile, an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Samples of improper fractions are 11, 4, 7, 4, and many more so like that. As you can that. see, guys, so we have a mixed number here. So what we're going to do is that we are going to convert this mixed number into a improper fraction. So how are we going to do it? So we're going to do it step by step, guys. Okay, so let's get started with this first example so step one is we are going to multiply the denominator by the whole number so this is the denominator and this is the whole number so we're going to put a multiplication sign between the two and then we are going to multiply four times two so four times two guys is eight Diba? 8. Kasi kung 2 times 3, it's 6. So, 2 times 4, 8. So, step 2, guys. We are going to add the result to the numerator, which is number 3. So, so addition sign there. So, 8 plus 3, guys, is 11. 11 so this is the result so what we're gonna do guys is that step 3 we are going to use this result as our numerator for the improper fraction so 11 as our numerator so you're probably wondering guys what are we gonna use who are we gonna use as our denominator so step 4 we are we are going to copy the denominator of the mixed number. So, number 4. And here, we have our final answer at, or improper fraction, 11 fourth. So, if we are going to convert this improper fraction, guys, into a mixed number, same result lang yapon siya, okay? So, let's go, let's go to our next example. So, as you can see, guys, we have another mixed number. So, again, we are going to convert this mixed number into a improper fraction. So, same steps lang yapon, guys. So, let's go over it. Step 1, we are going to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So, they're both 4, guys, diba? 4 and 4. So, let's put a multiplication sign now. 4 times 4, guys, is 16. Diba? Kung 4 times 3, guys, it would be 12. But since it's 4 times 4, so it's 16. 16, there. Now, let's go to step 2. So, step 2, we are going to add the result to the numerator. So, 16 plus 3, diba? There, addition sign. So, 16 plus 3, guys, is 19. Diba? 19. So, this is the result. So, again, step 3, we are going to use this result as our numerator for the improper fraction. 19. There. So, what, so what are we going to put as our denominator? So, again, step, step 4, we are going to copy the denominator of the mix from our mix number, which is number 4. So, there, number 4. This is our answer, our improper fraction. You can see, guys, this time we have an improper fraction. So, what we're going to do is that we are going to convert this improper fraction into a mix number so how are we gonna do it so we are going to do this step by step so let's get on with it 
So, step 1 is that we are going to divide our improper fraction. So, we are going to use our numerator here, number 10, as our dividend and our denominator, number 7, as our divisor. So, we're going to divide. 10 divided by 7 is clearly number 1, right? So, and then we multiply. So, 1 times 7 is surely 7. There, and then we're going to subtract. So, 10 minus 7, guys, is 3. Okay, so, now that we're done dividing 10 and 7, step 2 is that we... We are going to use our quotient here as our whole number. Right? As our whole number. And the answer from the bottom, number 3, as our numerator. We are going to use our answer from the bottom as our numerator. And last of all, our divisor, number 7, as our denominator. So this is our answer. So, if we try to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction, our result would still be the same. So, let's get on with our next example, guys. So, as you can see, guys, we have another improper fraction. So, what we're going to do again is that we are going to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. So, same steps lang yapon. So, let's go over it again. Step 1 is that we are going to divide our improper fraction. So, we are going to use our number 7, the numerator, as our dividend. Okay. As our dividend. And our, our number 3, the denominator, as our divisor. 7 and 3. So, now we are going to divide. So, 7 divided by 3 is 2 times 3 is 6. And then, we're going to subtract. And then, 7 minus 6 is clearly 1. So, now that we're done dividing our improper fraction, we are now going to step 2. So, step 2 is that we are going to use the quotient as the whole. As our whole number. As our whole number. And our answer here from the bottom, number 1, is our numerator. And last, the divisor, number 3, is our denominator. So, we have 2 and 1 third. This is our mixed number. So, if we try to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction... Our results would still be the same. That's all for today, guys. And I hope you learned something on this video. Please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And make sure to tap the notification bell button below so that you'll be notified for more videos. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I bless you all. And bye!